best forex trading strategy. Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, I'm just looking for a new strategy because the one I've been using is just not performing. You know, when I did find it, I found it on YouTube. It said 80% win rate. I'm getting about a 40% win rate. So I, I think it's time that I get a new strategy. How many of you have been in this exact situation where either you're looking for a new strategy because you're a beginner or you're looking for a strategy because it's just the one you are using has not been performing? Well, whatever the reason is, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what you've got to look out for when you are looking for new strategies. And I'll also be going over tips on how you can actually get a strategy that'll perform for you longer term. So with that being said, guys, let's get straight into it. So we've all been there, guys. We've all been there where we're looking for a strategy. And what is it? How do we find the strategy for us? Well, first, I'm going to be talking about a couple of things that you should look out for. Number one is, you know, most of the time when we are going in and we're searching for a strategy, we're probably going to be going to Google or in most cases, we're going to be going to YouTube because we want to actually see the strategy in action, right? So with that being said, one of the things, the first things you've got to be careful of is where you find your strategy or who is showing you the strategy and they might be telling you that it is better than it is because you got to remember this is YouTube, right? YouTube works an algorithm where, you know, they go by by title, they go by SEO, they go by thumbnail. So they do a lot of things to try and bump up their view on the video. So you've got to remember that they are doing everything they can to make that video the best it possibly can to get the best number of views. So with that being said, a lot of times you are finding a strategy that yes, the strategy probably does work, but maybe it's not as good as these guys are saying, because a lot of times they will be specifically selecting the trades that they'll be doing in the video. So obviously it looks good. And they'll also be telling you that the win rate is based on the strategy based on the trades they took for the video. So where they're saying it might be an 80% win rate, it might actually longer term be like a 60 or a 50% win rate, but that's okay. Even if it is still profitable long term, if it has an edge in the market, that's fine. But just be very careful because a lot of these channels, a lot of the videos you'll be finding will be telling you make a thousand dollars a day, 80% win rate, you know, all this kind of stuff. But it, it most of the time it's not as good as it seems, right? So that's the first thing to look out for. The second thing you've got to be very careful about when you are looking for a new a new strategy is don't just go into like the first strategy you find because it looks good. First, you have to understand what type of trader you are. Are you a trader that is, you know, more of a swing trader? Are you someone that'll do better with a swing trading strategy? Are you someone that likes day trading? You know, you want to be in and out of the market in a few hours, max maybe a day or so. Or are you someone that is just wants to be in and out the market super quickly? sculping, you know, that's the, the sort of strategy you're looking for. So make sure when you're actually searching for the strategy, you are fine tuning it based on that to start off with. What kind of strategy are you looking for? Are you looking for a swing day or scalping so that you can kind of like just cut out all the other noise, right? And then the other thing you've got to think about as well, guys, is you've got to think about how much time you actually have per day to trade. And not only the time that you can give up to the trading, but when when is that in the day that you can? So maybe, you know, for you, you can only trade between 10 and 12 your time frame in the day, right? So make sure you're finding a strategy that works in those times. It works for you. Don't go around a strategy that obviously just does not work for you. So that's the important thing is making sure you're finding a strategy that fits you, fits your lifestyle, fits your trading style, all of that stuff. You've got to make sure it is built around you or not built around you, but it fits you. And then the other thing you've got to watch out for when selecting a strategy is making sure that you understand what you need to know about the market for that strategy. And what I mean by that is some strategies, some smart money concept strategies, you know, certain strategies that are more in depth will require you to have a deeper knowledge of the market, understand how the market moves, why it moves, who's moving it, understand price patterns and all these kind of things, understand levels. And if you have an understanding of 
of that, then it's fine. Look for those kind of strategies. But if you are new to the market and you don't understand all of that, then you'd be better off just trading, you know, maybe a indicator type and indicator based strategy where you're just waiting for the indicators to tell you what to do, following rules based on indicators. And you don't really need to know too much about the market per se. So be very careful that, you know, the strategies you are choosing don't require you to know more than you actually know, because then that's going to get you into trouble. Right. So with that being said, guys, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is how to actually take all of this, find a strategy and a step, kind of a step by step on how to actually go from finding a strategy to trading that strategy. So we're going to I'm going to be telling you how I do it, and that'll give you an idea of the tips and the tricks that you need to be looking out for. When I look for a strategy, I number one, do all of those things I just said. I look for a strategy that suits me, that will fit my lifestyle. I can only trade, you know, certain times in the day. So I make sure that I'm looking for a strategy that I can trade in maybe the London Open or I can maybe trade in the New York session. Those are the two time slots that I can trade. So I make sure I'm looking for a strategy that works around that. And then I'll obviously look at the strategy, see how the, the strategy trades. If that's a strategy that I think I can work with, then that's the one that I'm going to go for. Then I picked my strategy. What's next? Next, you want to back test. Testing is so important, guys. You've got to test the strategy. You've got to back test the strategy. And I'm not talking about just testing it, you know, at five or 10 trades. I'm talking about you want to test at at least 100 trades in more recent markets. So in the year you're currently in, if you can do it another 100 trades the previous year and even push it for another 100 trades the year before that. So you have potentially like 300 trades that you've got different market conditions. And then that'll give you a good idea of how that strategy holds up in all the market conditions, right? So you'll get a better understanding of the true edge that that actually holds. So how do you do that? There's a few ways you can do that. Now you you can go and do it in TradingView. If you use TradingView, you can just use the bar replay tool. To get the full out of the bar replay tool, you will have to pay like a, a monthly subscription so that you can unlock different, you can go further back, let's say, but you can also unlock the different time frames. And, and there's all sorts. Of, I think it's like maybe about it's around $10 a month. I think maybe it's even even cheaper than that. But if you're going to be paying for this part of the, you know, the whole process, which I do suggest because it's a very important part of the process, then go somewhere like this FX replay or a backtesting platform similar to this. There are a lot out there. This is the one I use. So I'll be showing you exactly what I do once I've selected my strategy. So here we go, guys. This is the uh, the dashboard, my dashboard in FX Replay. I love this tool because it gives you, you know, you, you can't cheat yourself. Sometimes with bar replay, you can actually accidentally go too far and then you see forward data. Then you go back and you kind of cheat yourself with this. You can't, once you've played a, a, a bar, you can't go back. So you, you'll miss the trade. So I like that about this. You can't really cheat yourself. So I'll just show you, for example, this is one that I was doing recently in version FVG. Let's have a look at the analytics. Now this one, I haven't done that many trades. I think I've got about 14, maybe 15 trades. Okay, 13 trades. I've done 13 trades and it's got a win rate of 61.5%. Nowhere near enough trades to really to get the data 100%. But this is just to give you an idea, right? You can see that this gives you all your data, tells you all the information, your, your total winners, total losers, your average win, your average loss, your best streak, your worst streak, and all this kind of stuff that you, you start building up a pattern on yours. So let's say this was 200 trades worth, and I still had this information where Wednesday clearly was not a good day to trade, then I'm not going to trade Wednesday. So you start getting an idea of when are the good days to trade, when are not such good days to trade. And it's a great tool to kind of get all this data from. So and you can see this was only in one month, June of this year, where I was doing the back testing. So this gives you an idea of where you can do your back testing. And back testing is so important, guys you've got to do the more you test the better so once you've done your back testing and you get your numbers and you're happy with the numbers the next step is to go to the live market or what they call forward testing you've got to now take that to a live market and you've actually got to test it in the real life conditions to see can you get into trades quick enough when it comes to working out all the risk you need do you have enough time? Can you get into the trades? Are you too stressed? You know, you can actually put yourself in the real market conditions and see, is it something that you will be able to do? Let's say, yes, you can get into your trades and that part of it is no stress. Then you're going to be looking at, again, at least doing one to three months worth of trading on this real account. Now, normally you would do a demo account. You sign up for a broker. Most brokers will offer a, a demo account, sign up for a demo account and trade on that demo account. Make sure you take exactly the same leverage, a similar 
maybe account size than you would be trading when you actually go to live because there's no point signing up for a hundred thousand dollar demo account when you're going to start with a thousand dollars if you're going to start with a thousand dollars start with a thousand in your demo you know because then you get the feel for it and everything is matching kind of what you you're almost preparing yourself for what you're going to be doing when it does go to live and you get an idea of how that trades and then once you've done your one to two months and you're trading every day on it and you still have an edge in the market then at that point you say okay it's time to go to the live market and i would generally start maybe with a small account you can start with a very small account even a hundred two hundred dollars and start trading that for another month and this is very time consuming right trade that for a month because then it's real money and you actually are winning or losing real money rather than a demo account you start getting the feel for that and then at that point if you're still profitable you can then upgrade to the size that you wanted to start with maybe it's a thousand dollars but make sure it's only what you are willing to lose always only risk what you're willing to lose guys remember that those those are the steps that i would take to get to the point that i am actually trading a strategy right make sure you go through the process back test it forward test it and then you go to the live market and make sure you get enough data data is so important journal it all i mean i use this so it kind of journals journals it for me if you're not using this make sure you're journaling all your trades so you can see what won what lost and you understand the strategy in a deeper level right so that's how i go about getting my my strategy to the point that i'm happy to trade it now if you are still sitting there thinking you know i i this is too much i don't really want to be doing all of this but i do want to trade it's so stressful how about using an ea using an automated trader that trades for you takes all the stress away well we have exactly that we have a product called titan x and it basically will trade for you and it's particularly good at passing prop firm challenges even if you are doing the back testing you're doing everything i said but it's going to take you two to three months you could potentially still trade for real while you're learning right and our ea has currently got over 950 of our community funded with prop firm so if this is something you'd be interested in if you want to get hold of capital to trade on the uh, the strategy you eventually will be trading instead of using your own money this is a great way to get this rolling while you're choosing your strategy going through the process of getting that strategy ready to go and who knows by the time it's ready you could already have some capital to trade with which is actually capital that is not even yours it's been given to you by a prop firm that would be a great way to do it now if you are interested go to www.propfarming.com have a look at the video the demo video that's been set up there fill in the application form and who knows you could be on well on your way to getting funded with a prop firm and that's it guys that's the video that's it from me i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you found value in it i hope it makes it a little bit easier for you to choose your strategy in the future and if you go through those steps you should be able to find a strategy that works for you and works longer term all the best in choosing your strategies if you did like this video please like it if you haven't yet subscribe because we've got a lot of cool content coming and yeah with that being said guys happy trading and we will see you guys in the next video bye for now